Hello po sa lahat. So ngayon, pag-uusapan na naman natin ang Quarter 4, Module 8 sa Science 7. Entitled, A Shining, Shimmering, Splendid Light in the Sky. Before anything else, let's first have the What I Know portion. For number 1, which celestial body does Earth revolve around on? The answer is, Sun. Which part of the Earth experiences summer in December and winter in June? Southern Hemisphere because it receives direct rays from the sun in December and lesser solar energy in June. Where is the Philippines located? It's in the tropical region. What causes seasons throughout the year? It's the tilt of the Earth's axis. What do direct rays mean? The rays of the sun hit the ground at 90 degrees. What is the season when Earth's axis is tipped toward the sun? Summer. What is the season when Earth's axis is tipped away from the sun? Winter. When the sun's light shines on the North Pole, what season is beginning in the Northern Hemisphere? Summer. Earth's seasons are caused by which of the following? The tilt of the Earth's axis of rotation relative to the Earth, to the orbit of the Earth. The diagram below shows the noontime shadows cast by a student on a tree. At noon, the student is in Manila. In what direction is the student facing? North. The diagram below shows the apparent path of the sun as viewed by an observer at a certain part on the Earth on March 21. Which latitude is the observer located? Zero degrees, equator. Which part of the Earth receives the direct rays of the sun? It's the point E. At which location has the greatest number of hours of daylight? Point C. Which diagram best represents the angle of the sun's rays at location C at noon? Letter D. What do we experience the changing of the season on the Earth? Or why do we experience the changing of the season on the Earth? Because of the tilt of the Earth's axis. So our topic is the Earth's position and the amount of energy received. So in this figure, the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. So if you are in the tropical region, you will experience dry season. If you are in the temperate region in the northern hemisphere, you will, you will experience summer. On the other hand, if you are in the tropical region in the southern hemisphere, you will experience wet season. Whereas, if you are in the temperate region in the southern hemisphere, you will experience winter. So, as you can see, kanina, that's the month of June. The northern hemisphere will receive more direct rays from the sun. Therefore, it is summer in the northern hemisphere or northern temperate region of this time. While in December... The North Pole will be pointing away from the Sun, so this time it's in the southern temperate region that will summer occur. So seasons are the weather changes due to varied amounts of sunlight caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis. So during different seasons, the angle at which the Sun's rays hit the Earth varies. So you have direct rays. So it's when the rays of the sun hit the ground at 90 degrees. So the rays are vertical or perpendicular to the ground. And it's when the rays or the sun's rays strike the ground at a high angle or high angle. Each square meter of the ground therefore receives a greater amount of solar energy during this time. That means more heat it more heat will be absorbed by the Earth's surface. On the other hand, when the sun's rays come in at an ang angle like this, lower angles, so the solar energy will be distributed over wider area and 
the ground will receive a lesser amount of solar energy. So the place will then experience lower temperatures. Alright, so itong mga what I have learned, kaya na po ang gagawa niyan. So with the what I can do. Let's proceed to the assessment. What are the two seasons in the Philippines? We have rainy and dry. Kapag palaging umuulan, rainy yan. Kapag hindi naman umuulan, dry season yan. In the month of June, which area receives more direct rays from the sun? So, it's the North Pole. When it is summer in Southern Hemisphere, which of the following best describes the tilting of the Earth in the Northern Hemisphere? It's away from the sun. What happens during equinox? The length of day and night is equal. What do you call the changing of weather due to varied amounts of sunlight? Seasons. At which latitude can the sun be observed directly overhead during summer solstice? It's 23.5 degrees north. So that's Tropic of Cancer. If I am not mistaken, that's Tropic of Cancer. Let me double check on it. Kasi baka makapagbigay ako sa, ng, sa inyo ng maling, maling information. So, yeah. 23.5 degrees north, that's Tropic of Cancer. A person is facing his shadow at noon. What direction is he facing? West. Seasonal changes on Earth are primarily caused by the... Tilt of the Earth's axis as Earth revolves around the Sun. It should be the tilt. It's not parallelism. Let me uh, correct this. Ito po yung answer sa answer kinatin. Pero it should be the tilt of the Earth's axis as Earth revolves around the Sun. That's the change. Uh, that's the reason for the seasonal changes. Because the Earth rotates on its axis, in what direction does the Sun seems to rise? Yes. Very cold climates occur at Earth's north and south poles because the polar regions receive low angle insulation. During summer, countries in the northern hemisphere experience warm temperatures because sunlight then is most intense and of longest duration. What time of the day is represented by the location of the sun in the diagram? It's 9 a.m. In the diagram on December 21st, what latitude experiences direct sun rays? That's 23.5 degrees south, or the Tropic of Capricorn. Why does the area around the equator has the same temperature throughout the year? Because the equator always receives sunlight at high angles. Why do seasons change? Seasons change because direct rays of the sun shift from one hemisphere to the other as the earth goes around the sun. Okay, itong additional activities, kayang-kaya mo to. So, if your the angle is high, it's equivalent to high temperature. Low angle, low temperature siya. So, that's all for this lesson. Sign 7, Module 8. Let's have... Or see you again in Module 9. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.